Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X here and today we are answering them questions. Now firstly, I want to thank y'all once again for helping me get to that 3000 mark. I, you know I can't do it without y'all. Um, also, y'all know by the end of the year, I'm still trying to get to that 5000 mark. And I know we can do it, so let's go ahead and push. I'm going to push. We're going to get there. <laughs> and I'm surprised. I'm surprised I got a lot of questions, guys. Um, a lot of y'all was asking me <laughs> a lot of questions, like five to ten questions. Uh, for those people, I just want to say, I only chose two questions. <laughs> if you asked me more than one question, I only chose two questions, just so the video wouldn't be too long. So sorry about that, guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. And if I butcher y'all name, I'm sorry. In the, I'm sorry in the process. <laughs> let's go ahead and begin. First person we got Lauren Mendez, and she asked. Which hit the feels more, Jiraiya or Neji's death? Now, y'all know I love Neji, but I'm gonna have to say Jiraiya. Now, with Jiraiya's death, I, I, it just hit me. I, I don't know why. It might have been Naruto's reaction to it. You know, that man ran out and started crying. He had the ice cream in his hand. It was just so depressing. With Neji's death, you know, he had Neji by the arm, yeah, but he was just like, somebody give me a medic! Somebody give me a medic! <laughs> I don't know guys, look the July one just hit me way more than the Neji death. Um, and she also asked, Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball GT? Come on, definitely Super. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna just shit on GT, GT has some good moments, but Super I feel like has better moments so far, cause it's not over yet, so yeah, definitely Super. Uh, next person we got Bane, yeah, Bane Fox's sin, sin of Greed. And he asks, if you could pick one power from anime to have in real life, what would you pick and why? Definitely between time stopping and gravity. Time stopping because you can get away with a lot of stuff. And gravity because I feel like, you know, you could float. You can change how fast you're going. You know, all that good stuff. And also he asks, Do you, did you ever cry while watching anime? Now, I'm not going to lie. As a kid... Uh, in general, only one time have I truly bawled out cry, and that was when I was a kid, and this was probably everybody, and that was what, <laughs> Pokemon, the first movie, you know, when Ash, Ash turned to stone, boy, I was crying in that theater, I ain't even lying to y'all. <laughs> As a teen to an adult, um, there have been times in anime where, you know, um, it may be like teary-eyed, like, you know, the music be hitting you, like, uh... <laughs> For example, you hawk a show. I'd be like, man, you scared? Just get up. But <laughs> no. But recently, the anime that's probably made me almost really cry, like as an adult, definitely probably Erased. If you haven't watched Erased, definitely a good anime. It's short too, so you you can get it done real quick. But Erased, definitely. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That almost had me crying. That was a good anime. Now, next person, we got Crimson Flame, and he asked, what's your best dating advice? Definitely, I would say two things. One, don't go in thinking you're going to get some that day, because that's going to mess you all up. <laughs> and two, I would say ease your way. Like, for me, for example, you know, my goofiness and all of that. I definitely ease myself into it. Don't like go. I don't go full goofy on a date. You know, like that'll terrify somebody probably. You know, so I ease my personality onto the person. You know, I don't just go fully into it. So I would definitely say that. Also, you know, you know, pay. <laughs> if you're the guy, pay the first date. Uh, usually every date the guy pays. Sometimes you know the girl pay. You know, I'm like that's nice, but definitely pay your first date. That's that's the advice I'll have to give. <laughs> Next up, we got Hit Spy and he asked, "Will you do a live stream soon?" Definitely gonna be doing some more live streams in the future. Um, I need to get back on my Destiny live streams for sure. I feel like. Um, my next game that I'm gonna be playing is gonna be uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get evil within two so we'll have a horror game <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get a camera so definitely I can see my reactions before that game come out so yeah definitely live streams are gonna be coming back full force uh, <clears throat> next up we got uh, Kyosis plays hope I said your name right <laughs> and he asked uh, best female male character in My Hero Academia um, definitely I'm gonna say Asui and Shoto. Um, 
I, I didn't want to make it a uh, by looks thing, but by personality and all that. And I definitely like Asui's personality, like character as a, as a character. So I would definitely say her and Shoto. Come on, guys. Shoto's even in my banner. <laughs> but yeah, them two definitely. And second question, best female male character and Baruto from the new generation. Oh, he had me, man. I was really about to say some movie characters, but since he said from the new generation's I'm gonna have to say, and ironically, they're in, they're in the same picture. Uh, it's gonna be Samaya and Misuki. <laughs> Samaya, it was tough because I, I, it was between Samaya and uh, Sarada, but I feel like we haven't got. But I mean, we just got Sarada's arc, which was very good. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like. I still like Samaya more. That might change in the future. And Misuki, I mean, it's Misuki. I don't have to say anything, guys. <laughs> the man, the man is just funny. The man's funny and he's cool. So yeah. Oh, uh, next up we got Marquis Rice. Thought it was Marquise, but okay. <laughs> and he asked, "Why does that dude King Ko always cuss in your videos?" Well, that's because this guy is always trying to stop me from getting money. <laughs> Next person we got a 48 show and he asked, are you good at cooking and what can you cook? And do you listen to Lofi music? I just put that all together because it was on one line. Uh, the cooking part, definitely not. I need to start cooking though because I am wasting a lot of money on like uh, fast food and all that. Yeah, I can cook like breakfast, you know, <laughs> but cooking, yeah, I need to work on that. And do I listen to lofi music? I don't even know what lofi music is, so I'm going to say no. But if you are watching this video, please in the comment section, let me know what lofi music is. Next person, we got Justin No, and he asks, how well did you do in school and was going to college really worth it? Um, how well did I do in school? Oh! I'd say in middle school I messed up because I had to go to summer school one time, but uh, high school up uh, I was doing pretty good, doing good. I didn't have to go to summer school or nothing like that. Um, and college worth it, definitely, man, because um, you know all that knowledge. You know, any like the more knowledge you have, the more value, uh, the more valuable you are as a person. You know, more people are gonna want you like for jobs and stuff. So definitely college is always worth it yeah more knowledge more learning you know but the better that's it. and i'll leave it at that definitely go to college guys <laughs> uh next up we got anthony tesley and he asked do you have a girlfriend and would you ever tell her that you're a youtuber um at the moment no single living the bachelor life <laughs> sadly you know i it's funny though because i actually don't want to be single but I'm, you know, I'm using the cards that I'm dealt. <laughs> Just haven't found the right person for me yet, I guess. Um, and would I tell her I'm a YouTuber? Yeah, definitely I'll tell her YouTuber. And I mean, as y'all know, I, I was talking to this girl before. Um, and I told her she was cool about it. You know, she was cool and very interested um, in, like, what, you know, what I have to do to be a YouTuber and all the, you know, ins and outs of it. So, yeah, I'd definitely tell her, especially, you know, if I became real close to her. So, yeah. Uh, next person we got Bob Smith and he asked what inspired you to do YouTube one day <laughs> quick I'll make it quick one day um my brother's friend came over and he was basically you know saying how he was gonna make a website you know basically uh, showing people you know showing people that do creative stuff and everything he, you know he was just you know kind of inspirational talk we had you know he was just like you know if you want to do something go ahead and do it now don't wait because if you wait it's never gonna get done but if you do it now it's you know it's all you're on the track to doing it and everything and when he told me that we had that all whole conversation. I was like, wow, you know what? I'm about to make this channel right now and start. And sure enough, I did. And, you know, obviously, I, I made it because, you know, I like anime and gaming. So I, I, I revolved it around what I like to do. Definitely, if you're going to make a YouTube channel, make sure it's something you like to do. And the next question, how's the progress on the Discord coming? Will you have uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter for us to see you? I have an Instagram and Facebook for sure, but I don't have one for the channel yet, and I still need to make them. Also, I still need to do the Discord, guys. Um, bear with me. There's a lot I need to do, but it is going to come. Uh, definitely going to be before 2018, so I will let y'all know in an update video about all that stuff. Uh, next up, we got Jackie Lou. How tall are you? Six foot. <laughs> next up, we got No Black Girls 2017. 
like that name because I sure might be uh, might be leaving the black community real soon. <laughs> Just playing, but uh, yeah. The question is, what type of person were you in high school? Um, I was definitely. Mm, I wouldn't say full nerd, but I was like, I say in between nerd and popular because I was cool with everybody, you know, uh, cool with the nerds, cool with the cool kids, you know, so I was like in between, I'd say in high school. And do you think high school social stash popularity has any significance to who you will become in the future? No, not at all. Um, there I've seen, I mean, you know, uh, you could be anybody it all just depends on what you're striving to do in the future that is all um that's what may yeah that that's what um makes your future just what you're just striving to do and if you're willing to get there because yeah it doesn't it, it, i don't think it matters <laughs> that's all i'm gonna just leave it at that uh next person we got uh the outback pandas and ask which anime world from a show you are currently reacting to would you most want to live in well, since you said currently reacting to, definitely not Dragon Ball Super because they, I feel like the planets blow up too much, just too much. So, uh, definitely I'm gonna say My Hero Academia because I feel like it would be cool just to see all the heroes going around, you know, saving the day and everything. <laughs> yeah, so I, I feel like that. Baruto, uh, second, but definitely My Hero over that. Um, next up we got no chill penguin. How black are you? Now if you're talking about skin color, I'd say a nice little caramel <laughs> But if you're talking about personality, I'm definitely not like uh, Loud like, you know stereotypical black person. I'm yeah far from it. So Yeah um, Next up we got Garrett Till and he asks, what why do you hate Chalasu? It's not the fact that I hate Chaozu. It's the fact that he has done nothing. Last time he did anything significant was when he tried to kill Nappa, and all he did was leave a stain on the back. And that was at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, we. <laughs> that's the only reason. Like I don't hate Chaozu. It's the fact that he's irrelevant. I feel like to the story. Next up, we got Disaster Master, and he has. If you get to have if, if you get to have a role as a gym leader or a leaf four member in Pokemon, what main type would you use and why? Uh definitely between fire, dragon, or ghost, just because those are my three favorite types in Pokemon. And next question, if you can create your own symbol in Naruto, what would it look like? <laughs> it would definitely be an X. I mean, it, it, it has to be, guys, right? It would definitely be an X, maybe like a fancy looking X or something. Uh next up we got King Dragon 101. And they ask, do you like comics? If so, which ones have you read? I do like comics, but I don't like buy comics or anything. I really just like, I'm like subscribed to people on YouTube that like, you know, do comic readings and all that. Definitely, I like DC comics um, a lot more than Marvel comics, I feel. Um, right now, I'm really liking the Dark Knight's Metal storyline in DC. And also, I'm liking this whole, I forgot what it's called, but you know, the whole Watchmen thing they got going on in DC at the moment. Uh, next question, are you thinking of doing reactions to other things besides anime like scary movies or pranks on a relative like mom, dad? That was very, uh, <laughs> that was very specific right there, but nah, um, if I do more reactions, they definitely would be anime or gaming related i don't want to dive into like you know anything else i might change my mind on that later on but for now just anime gaming related uh next up we got uh tyree wright and he asked do you plan on watching a new series definitely um definitely want to watch a new series it's just for me it has to be something that like piques my interest um so I don't know if, if any of y'all like have a trailer or something for like an anime y'all like me to watch or something y'all can definitely you know leave in the comment section or send it to me and I'll check it out if it interests me I'll definitely watch it <laughs> um, next up we got Roman Castro what was your favorite anime growing up Ooh, definitely between Dragon Ball Z or Yu Yu Hakusho those are my two staples, you know, Toonami, those are my two. Dragon Ball Z was like the reason I started watching anime. And um, Yu Yu Hakusho, I will always say I love, love the story of Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, that definitely has to still be in my top, 
as a series right there definitely um and next question have you played attack on titan video game uh i didn't get a chance to play that game but i might play the second one that's gonna come out next year definitely uh next up we got dark underscore and shout out to brazil <laughs> and he asked what's your favorite anime character this one I really can't answer guys. I'm not even lying. It's gonna take me too long, but definitely uh, on my banner are some of my favorites uh, Dragon Ball Z, you know, it's Trunks. Uh, Shoto, I'm loving him right now. Dio, favorite villain for sure. Favorite villain is Dio and Itachi. Oh, come on guys. <laughs> From Naruto. So yeah, I mean, there's more, but definitely those are a couple. But I can't think of like a favorite at the moment. I'll have to get back to y'all on that one. And next question, which female anime character is the most beautiful in your opinion? It's definitely SDF. From a comic I kill. It's no questions, guys. It's no questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, next up, we got um, a mighty pain, and he asks, "Why did you like?" Oh my! Oh, whew, messed up that question. Whew. Why do you like? Why do you like uh, YouTube videos? And when did you start? Man, I wrote that all wrong. <laughs> I, I, why, why do you like doing YouTube videos? And when did you start? I'm sorry. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> um this yeah definitely um i started i actually had a channel with another friend and we were doing like a gaming channel uh and you know it was really just um i don't know it was like a hobby uh, you know a long time ago and also you know um i had a channel with uh if y'all know um christopher's couch i had a channel with him and my brother and we uh we was like doing skits and stuff and that you know that was fun that was definitely fun and it was like a hobby again and then i decided to make this channel because you know that story i told y'all earlier and it's definitely a hobby but i could see this actually becoming a job depending on like how fast i'm growing and all that uh but yeah definitely i the reason i started it or started this one was you know i love to make people laugh and i felt like you know i can bring that craft mixed with anime and gaming so uh, y'all can let me know if i'm doing a good job so far but y'all I mean y'all be telling me <laughs> so yeah that's why i started um next up we got gmb creates and i ain't gonna lie before i begin with his questions this man asked me a lot of questions and i actually chose one from the anime questions and one from the real life questions so uh first question is a favorite villain slash anti-hero in my hero academia baruto and dragon ball super um if i can only choose between like one between the villain and anti-hero my hero academia definitely is gonna be stain I thought he was refreshing like his his ideology was definitely right but he was going about it in the wrong way so I definitely liked him in Baruto I'm glad you didn't say generations because I'm gonna use a cop-out answer <laughs> and I'm gonna say Momoshiki <laughs> and I just say that because Samaya definitely I didn't I mean she was all right as a Man, I say anti-hero or what I don't I don't even know what to call Samaya. It was eh, you know uh and um uh oh, wow uh wow forgot this man's name uh Shin yeah Shin yeah, he was eh. yeah yeah he was eh. I'm gonna say Momoshiki and for Dragon Ball Super it's definitely between Goku Black and Hit um. I'm gonna lean more towards Goku Black because he was just too nice. I'm sorry, guys, but Hit definitely as an anti-hero. And next question: What are you most passionate about in life besides anime? What's your career goal? Is it? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Is it being? Uh, I mean, is it blowing up as a YouTuber? Um, definitely passionate in life. Um, definitely. Uh, right now, I'm actually studying to get my A plus certification. And after that, you know, hopefully get a good, good computer job. <laughs> um, and as for the, as as for you know, blowing up on YouTube, definitely. I mean, if I blow up on YouTube, this will definitely be. I can make this a career. I would make it a career um, if I blow up on YouTube. And yeah, I mean, especially since I enjoy, you know, if I since I enjoy making videos for y'all and everything, definitely I'll make this a career. You know. And uh, last guy, lastly, we got Caribbean Vermouth. 
Hope I said that right. <laughs> and he asked, your favorite god destruction. And I really forgot these people's names, but it's definitely between the clown and uh what was his name? Garen Ge the the damn um sea serpent looking guy. Jiren is that I mean not Jiren, uh Gene. It's, it's Gene, right? Anyways, yeah, definitely between them two. Um and last question, are you hyped for Goku versus Jiren? Come on. Y'all know. Y'all know I'm hyped for that hour special, boy. Whoo! And it's coming. <laughs> um, but that was all the question, guys. Thank once again, thank you guys for all these questions. Um, definitely, I might do a Q and A again when we hit five thousand subs. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll be up before the end of the year. Um, and definitely guys if we do hit it before the end of the year definitely gonna be doing some giveaways so be on the lookout for that guys and as always it's been your boy x and i'm out deuces